Nice. Hey guys, Jibra here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Crossout. Hope you guys are doing well. Today we are taking a look at the new precision rocket launcher from the Battle Pass, the Trombone. A lot of you guys had some questions in the comment section. So in today's video, we're going to check them out a little bit and see what works and what doesn't work and uh, what kind of setups we can use this with. Okay, let's first check out the stat card of the trombone. So it has 550 power score, it deals blast damage, the damage itself is pretty low, it has a decent fire rate, the range is medium, and the accuracy bar is almost maximum. So I'm assuming it can hit even moving targets, no matter what kind of maneuvers they're pulling off. You have a max ammo of 8, it only has 82 durability, so not a lot, but it is basically a rectangle, so you can pretty much cover it up with armor as much as you want. Ah, now my baby is protected from all the horrible people out there. It only drains 2 energy, and it only weighs 144 kilograms. And the perk is kind of a strange one, the longer the rockets are in flight, the better their maneuverability gets, so that's why the accuracy is that high. Okay, let's test the range of this thing. So I'm at a 200 mark right now, and we don't have a lock on that bus right there. So if you move a little bit closer, we do get a lock at some point. So I would say the default, the default range should be like around 60 meters, 50 meters. And then obviously you will hit your target. It heats up the target pretty nicely. And if we add the RD2 Keen Radar, you do get the maximum range and you can fire from almost across the map. But unfortunately, the missiles detonate just before it hits the target, which is kind of unfortunate. Okay, so now we are at the start of the range and we can still lock onto the bus, but at 300 range, the missiles still automatically detonate before it hits the target, which is kind of unfortunate. But if you move to like 50 meters over here, so I would say the maximum or the optimal range for these things is around 250 meters. Now the trombone precision rocket launcher is a great addition to the game because you can pair it with the nest which has always been underpowered for the longest time. You can charge up your nest and fire your trombones at the same time and there you go. You get double damage because the targets heated up. 1100 damage with only two nests so that's a pretty awesome combo. Another combo that's gonna be pretty deadly is one trombone and six fire rocket launchers. Look at that. Oh my god, that's gonna be super deadly. And if you're more of a minigun guy, you can also pair it with some Reapers. There you go. Of course, you need to put it on a separate button so you can keep firing your missile. And we're kind of out of range. There we go. Just keep heating up your target. And it's so cool because you can carry it on the back of your build. Just like how I carry my team in PvP. EMOTIONAL DAMAGE! Now you guys also asked, does the trombone work with the blight cabin? Let's try it out. I oh, first need to lock on target. And no green fire, unfortunately. So it doesn't work with the blight cabin. What about the harpy cabin? Personally, I don't think so because uh, it's more of a heating weapon instead of a blast damage weapon. It might work, but only slightly. And what about the dust cabin? Also, no. So there you have it. The trombone is a pretty cool weapon. I do like it. It is a support weapon after all. And I'm pretty sure the Argus works against it or sparks. And I'm pretty sure you can also shoot the missiles down with machine gun. But yeah. Pretty cool addition to the game. Let me know what you guys think of it in the comment section down below. Also, if you guys are wondering if you can like flip it, no, you cannot flip it. You can only fire upwards. You can only change like uh, which direction it's facing. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the trombone. Hope you guys enjoyed this short little information video. Um, these were all the questions that I saw in my comment section. There were a few more for other weapons, but I cannot do those yet because the server is not live yet at the time of this recording. The server is going to go live in like six hours. 
But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Leave your questions and everything on my video in the comments or on my Discord so I can test some stuff out for you guys. I've already had a few questions and a few things I need to test, but I'll do that once the server goes live. So yeah, see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace out.